Welcome to my channel. The video explains about the systematic design and analysis of a two stage operational amplifier in Cadence Virtuoso. A two stage op amp is designed using GPDK 90 nanometer. For the design of op amp, first get the instance of PMOS. And NMOS into the design canvas. Select the library, then select the PMOS, click on sideways, again sideways. And another PMOS, then place the NMOS transistors. Click on sideways to change the orientation. Tail transistor followed by another transistor for current mirror. In total, you have five and four NMOS and three PMOS transistors. Let me make the connections. These two transistors are identical. They form the current mirror. And these two transistors form the differential pair. And these two transistors form the current mirror. And you require one more transistor for common source amplifier. This is a single stage op amp and this is a common source amplifier for forming the second stage. From the analog library get the current IDC a resistor followed by VDC for supply as well as inputs. Provide the ground for all of this. Let me finish the connections here. These two transistors form the current mirror
Now connect the ground. Since it is a current mirror, you need to provide this biasing. Go to the instance, get a capacitor, upload, you can press R for rotation. which acts as a compensator here. And this is grounded. This is provided the biasing from this transistor input. This op amp drives a capacitive load of 2, fem, 2 picofarad. Provide a pin for V out direction to output so these are the parameters change the compensating capacitor to 2 picofarad load is also 2 picofarad these two transistors aspect ratio change the length to 500 nano and total width to 7 micro and click on apply all selected so that both the transistors will have the same width. Similarly, these two transistors form the differential amplifier. They have the dimension of length 500 nanometer and width is 3 micrometer all selected so that it is applied to both at a time this is not grounded so let me connect it to the ground check and save the design these two transistors form the current mirror so they have a length of 500 nanometer followed by 6 micrometer. Now it is applied to both the transistors. This transistor in the common source amplifier, it has a length of 500 nanometers and 20 micrometers. Let me go with the 20. This transistor PMOS has a length of 500 nanometer and it has a width of 60 micrometer. Since the limit is 30 micrometer here, but I want to have a width of 60, so make the finger to 2, 
then the total width changes to 60 micrometers each finger has a width of 30 micrometers and this current is of 20 microamps and the resistor is of 30 kilo ohms the supply voltage is of 1.8 volt now provide the inputs before that you label this with the v n followed by vp for differential inputs v n vp which is for negative and this is for positive let me provide the inputs the dc voltage of this input negative side is 1.8 it has an ac magnitude of 1 millivolt and ac phase for this negative input is zero this side for the positive dc voltage is of 1.8 volt AC magnitude of 1 millivolt and it has a phase shift of 180. Try to see the phase changes. Here it is 0 degree, here it is 180 degree. Once the design is completed, check and save the design, then go to launch. Click on ADEL, load the analysis. I am going to perform the AC analysis right from 10 Hz to 1 GHz. Just click on Netlist and run. Then go to the results direct plot i want to plot ac gain and phase for this two stage op amp now select the output followed by the positive input this shows the magnitude and phase plot for a two stage op amp can split it and right now you can estimate the magnitude is around 38 db and the phase so if you want to find the value of this right click on it send to calculator Then from this, you select the value from the function panel, select the value, provide the interpolate at 20, 20 points, click on apply and you can find the value of it, it is 38.73. You can send it to the buffer. See that it is loaded here. Similarly, you can evaluate the phase margin. Open the calculator again. Click on VF. Select the output. Again, click on off and select the VF. This time, you select the VP. Click on the divide symbol here from the function panel select the phase margin
you can click on evaluate buffer it is 66.33 degrees you can click on here so that it loads into the adl window now i want to rerun the simulation the values are 38.73 db gain and the face margin is 66 but the value of gain is very less so what you can do is if you want to improve the gain in this you can directly improve these values or you can change the dc voltage to half the value like 900 or 0 0.9 volts which is around 900 millivolt here also change it to half the supply voltage 0 0.9 volt, 0 .9 volt check and save the design Rerun the simulation, check the magnitude plot on values. Observe that the value has increased from 30 to 61. If you want, you can plot this. To plot it, go to the direct plot, AC gain and phase. Select the output followed by VP. So this shows the magnitude plot again. But this time, see that the gain has improved drastically. 